Previously on Pokey Survivor, Torkoal and Krabby were going at it after a heated tribal council. A refreshing reward brought forth a final three alliance as they conspired against the other three. After a long immunity challenge, Torkoal came out on top for a third consecutive time. At camp, the tribe was split up into factions and no one knew where the vote was really going. In the end, after dodging bullets for 23 days, Krabby's karma finally caught up to him. Tenth person voted out of Poké Survivor back to the past and the first member of our jury. Krabby, that's six, that's enough. Ten are left. Who will be voted out tonight? Great blindside, guys. I did not see that one coming. Thanks for keeping me around. Krabby had it coming. He was pissing everyone off. He did have a point, though. You were thinking you were hot shit just because you win challenges. And we're getting tired of your ego problem. Whatever, buddy. You're just mad because you're on the bottom and you suck at challenges. Whatever my ass. You're going home before I am, that's for sure. We'll just see about that. Throw's frustration directed at me is definitely uncalled for, but I understand why he did it. I kind of feel bad, but if he doesn't go home, I sure will. My number one ally went home last night. I'm not happy right now, but at the same time, I want to make sure Sock and Throw go home before I do. I just need to lay low and not make myself a target. Oh my god, yes! Krabby is finally gone! I couldn't be happier! Now that he's out of here, I don't care who goes home next, honestly. As long as it isn't me. The vote last night went exactly as I expected. Krabby was definitely a dangerous player, and losing him benefits my game. Also, with Krabby gone, Sock, Throw, and Cubone are going to be running around with no leader to tell them what to do. So keeping them around for a vote or two might be a good idea. Well, that sucked. What are we going to do now? I mean, they already want us gone. I don't know what to do. We're just in a really bad spot right now. Last night was terrible. Keeping Krabby around was the only thing keeping me alive in this game. Now with Krabby gone, I'm next on the chopping block. You know, to be honest, I'm not that worried about Krabby being gone. I'm definitely the last target on their list, and I also have the hidden immunity idol. I don't have to worry about going home for a while. I don't even have to vote out Sock and Throw. They'll do it for me. Well done, ladies. Now we just have to get rid of the other three and we have a clear shot to the end. Right now, I'm just so happy Krabby is gone. I don't even care who goes out next. Krabby being gone will definitely help Gathita's tunnel vision. Hopefully we can get rid of Sock and Throw while keeping Cubone. I feel like he won't do anything once those two are gone, and then we can flip it on Slowking, Amolga, and Sigalith. Right now, I want to keep this as old school as possible. Sock and Throw especially need to go, as they are the biggest physical threats besides Torkoal, and they're also at the bottom. I'm excited because I'm in a really good position right now. Now with Krabby gone, the other three have no clue on what to do. Perhaps we should use them until we don't need them? Well, I think Peter should go home next, honestly. As do I. I mean, they wrote down the dragon's name last night. They'll surely do it again. With our three votes, we'll be able to vote Peter out. Oh, definitely. It'll mean, I mean, it'll help us make the final three with no doubt. My current target is Peter. The dragon is plotting, and is way too dangerous to keep around for long. If we don't get rid of that fairy bait, it might mean I miss an opportunity at a million dollars. Keeping Sock and Throw around isn't exactly good, but at the same time, Pigov is a much bigger threat in the long run. Once Sock and Throw both lose immunities, they'll both go home. Be honest with me, Torkoal, which of those three would you rather see go next? I think we should go and throw next. I'm honestly getting sick of his attitude, as he is just a cancer on our tribe. I understand, and trust me, that that's fine with me. I just don't really care which one was next, I just wanted a, another opinion on it. Of course, I'm glad you asked for my input, honestly. My pleasure. And I'm not out of the loop anymore. Now people are actually approaching me for who to vote. I feel so good in this position right now. I hope the Cro-Magnons keep things old school and pick off those Neanderthals. I need Torkoal right now, as I think he's going to have a long immunity run. Making him feel like an ally rather than public enemy number one will solidify an alliance between us. Welcome to the Survivor Auction. Woohoo! Each of you were given 500 US dollars. 
there will be multiple items to bid on in this auction. They range from food, to advantages, to complete duds. You must bid in $20 increments. The highest bid without anyone topping them gets it. Ready to get to it? Yes, let's do this. All right, the first item is a whole pizza. 20, 40, 60, 200. 200 going to Gethita once, twice. Sold to Gethita for 200 US dollars. Definitely worth it. Oh my God, this pizza is so good. Next item, an advantage in the next immunity challenge. 400, 500, uh, 500 going to Sock once, twice. Sold the Sock for 500. Here's how this will work. You will bring this bottle to the next immunity challenge. Make sure you bring it sealed. Gotcha. I made sure I got that advantage. If it means keeping the three of us around, or at least myself, sure I'll miss out on the fun of an auction. This next item is covered. 20, 40, 60, 100, 100 going to Amoga once, twice, sold to Amoga for $100. You just bought a single M&M for $100. Jeez, that was definitely worth it. The next item is a phone call with a loved one. 500. Wow. $500 going to Torkoal once, twice, sold to Torkoal. Here's how this will work. You will take this cell phone over there and you will have your call to whoever you want. Being able to contact my wife through a phone out here just instantly made me want that phone call. Every day I'm away from her, I get so emotional. It wears me down. I just want to hear her beautiful voice just for once. Hello? Torkoal? Baby, I miss you so much. I miss you too, honey. I'm playing hard just for you. There's so much I have to tell you. Oh my God. Uh, like what? Honey, don't freak out, but we're going to have a baby. Well, well, wow. I can't even describe. This is just a lot to take in. How did it happen? Remember the going away party that we had and you got really drunk? Uh, it was definitely a wild night. Oh, I mean, now I have more incentive to win. Wow. Of course, and I'm proud, and the baby would be too. I love you, honey, but your time's almost up. Oh, right, right. I'll see you in a few weeks, babe. Love you too. Bye. This is just so much to take in. I'm going to be a father. I'm, I'm like over 50, and I haven't been able to conceive, but now all of a sudden I am? This is just a miracle, honestly. This might be the drive that gets me to the end. Back to the auction. The next item is a single envelope. What's inside will remain a mystery until it is claimed. 100, 200, 260, 300, 340. You can have it. You must open and read it here. You may send anybody besides the winner of the phone call bid to Exile Island. It will take them out of the auction and prevent them from communicating with anyone for a period of 24 hours. They will return at the next immunity challenge. Hmm, I'll send Cubone to Exile. Cubone, head on over to Exile. Map will be waiting for you on your way out. Cubone has been jacking up the bids all day. Serves the little bastard right. Next item is a bowl of hot steamy noodles. 100, 120, 140, $300. 300 going to PETA once, twice. Sold to PETA for $300. Dragons have to get their grains after all. I'm waiting for an idle clue. I need the idle really bad right now. Or at the very least, I have to make sure P-Dub doesn't have it. Next item is a glass of beer. 100. 120. 140. 200. Damn it. 200 going once, twice. Sold to Gathita for $200. I'm about to get wasted. I wanted that beer, but I didn't want to spend that much on it. Next item. The biggest Baconator ever made. 500. I don't care. I want it. I want it. 500 to throw. Going once. Twice. Sold to throw for $500. I've been craving a Baconator for a month, man. I'm so happy. 
I had to spend my money on that stupid M&M. I could have been eating a Baconator. And with that, this auction is officially over. I hope you all got something of value. I'll see you at the next immunity challenge. This auction went better than I thought. Cubo being sent to exile as well as Torkoal not getting his paws all over the advantage was just great. Well, this sucks. This sucks a lot. There's nothing here at all. At first I thought, you know, maybe there'd be another clue to a hidden immunity idol, but there's not even that. I'm out here all alone and no one to talk to. Fending for myself. Well, at least I found some shelter. So how was the phone call? Oh, it was great. Her beautiful voice was the only thing I needed to hear. Uh-oh, were things getting spicy? <laughs> I wish. I can wait till I get home to let it all out. For some reason, I feel like Torko wasn't telling us the entire truth. I feel like he's hiding something, and I'm going to find out what it is. So, what did you and your wife talk about? Just some basic, I love you, I miss you kind of stuff, and that's pretty much it. Is that all? Nothing else? Well, and don't go around saying it, but I found out I'm going to be a father. Wow, Torkoal, I... C congratulations! I, I know, it's just so much to take in, though. Wow, I didn't know Torkoal was expecting a child. It makes me miss my son back home. He's probably waiting for Mommy to win that million dollars, and I can't right now. Man, it's it's cold out here. It's completely miserable here on Exile Island. I'm cold, I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I'm wet. It just goes to show how difficult it really is out here. Whatever doesn't kill me will strengthen me. Bringing back Cubone from Exile Island. Ready to get to today's immunity challenge. Yes! For today's immunity challenge, you will compete in groups of three in short versions of challenges from the past 25 days. Only one person will move on to the next round, and those three will compete in the second round. This is where the advantage comes in. The winner of the round two will face Sock in round three. So basically, you bought yourself to the final round, Sock. We'll draw for matchups and get started. The first matchup is the immunity challenge from episode seven with Throw, Cubone, and P-Dove. The twist this time is that the poles are covered in butter, making it difficult to stay on. This challenge is officially on. While we wait on that, the second matchup will be Emolga vs. Sloking vs. Gathita in the Gross Food Challenge from Episode 4. You will be eating orange juice and toothpaste ice cream. First one to finish moves on. Survivors ready? Go! Emolga finishes first. She moves on to round two. Fuck this, I'm done. You can have it, Throw. And Throw is moving on to round two. The next group will compete in the reward challenge from episode 4. First one hit the farthest target, moves on. Gorobis misses, Sigalith misses, and Torkoal hits! Torkoal moving on to the next round. For round 2, we are doing the reward challenge from episode 3. With a twist being having to hold a metric ton for as long as you can. Holy shit, this is hard! There's no way I can do- ah! I can't hold on for much- <sighs> <sighs> the final round will be between Torkoal and Sock. You will face off in the reward challenge from episode 2. Survivors ready. Go! <laughs> Both collide and take a big hit. I'm not budging an inch. Neither am I. You can't win. I'm stronger than you. No, you aren't. <laughs> and that's it. Sock wins individual immunity. Sock is safe from the vote tonight. Rest of you, Tribal Council, where one of you will become the second member of our jury. Head back to camp, find out who that's going to be. Immunity is mine, bitches! Now that I want immunity, it's time to take care of Mr. Ego. My first individual immunity loss. Hopefully the Cro-Magnons will stay strong and vote off throw tonight. With Sock immune, we'll have to take care of his number one throw. Congratulations, Sock, you kicked my ass. Oh, don't beat yourself up about it. Ha! Ah, that was funny! The general consensus is that Throw is going home. I want Throw gone, but at the same time, is that the right move right now? I personally would like to see Throw go home. He's Sock's right-hand man, and those two are a power couple, and we need to split that up as soon as possible. So, Throw tonight? I'm cool with it. I'm not so sure. What do you mean, Sloking? Sigalith, think about it. Torkoal is the biggest physical threat out here. He only lost because of Sock's advantage. What if this is the only chance we get to vote him out? 
I don't feel comfortable leaving those three intact, honestly. I'd rather get rid of Throw now and Torkoal maybe next time. I agree. Torkoal is loyal to us right now. We should take advantage of that. Even though Torkoal is a physical threat, it's difficult when there are still three Neanderthals left. It makes me worried about anyone flipping because now is not a time to turn on each other. I'm just saying right now, the three of us are writing down Torkoal. Y'all can do whatever, but that's where our votes are going. It's something to consider. It's myself and Torkoal on the chopping block. Hopefully those morons will realize I'm shit at challenges while Torkoal is a monster. Getting rid of Throw doesn't really make a lot of sense for my game. Keeping those three around actually is pretty good, as they can help tackle Pedov's side of the alliance. Torkoal will definitely side with them no matter what, so convincing them to vote for him is going to be tough. I'm telling you guys, this will be an easy vote. Those three are voting for him, and we can pile ours on the Torkoal and he'll go home. I still think it's kind of sketchy to go after him right now. To me, Tor getting rid of Torkoal makes more sense in the long run. I want to go after him, but there's a lot of disagreement in within the six. I honestly don't know what's going to happen tonight. So we're going after Throw, right? Of course, that we can't vote Sock, so that's the only choice. I promise that I will be loyal to the end. Just remember that. I know for sure that the Neanderthals are putting my name down. I just need to convince the Alliance to that I will stick with them to the end. I don't really know if Torkoal going home i don't really know if torkoal going home is the best move for me i could use him once the neanderthals are gone to take down slow king and win the game i just can't decide at all welcome back to tribal council merged tribe let's bring in the first member of our jury crabby voted out of the last tribal council the jury is here to observe all future tribal councils Krabby and the next eight contestants voted out will return and decide on who they feel is worthy of sole survivor. Alright, Sock, how do you feel with that necklace around you? I'm feeling great. I'm not going home and I have some power for once. Torkoal, this is the first time you've been in here since day 12 without that necklace. Do you feel like it could be you going home just because of that? I think I could go home tonight, but I have trust in my allies and I hope they keep me around as long as possible. Imoga, we're only down to 13 more days. Do you feel like now is the time to play it easy, or is it time to make the big moves now? Honestly, the moves I'm making are the moves that make sense going forward. I want to make the moves that help me get to day 39, not ones that look cool on TV and land me at 9th place. Gathita, the old Neanderthal tribe is down 6-4. to four. Do you expect an original Neanderthal to go home? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, honestly. It would make the most sense, but you never know. Gorbis, is this an easy vote tonight for you? Uh, this vote should be pretty easy. It makes the most sense and it'll help me in the long run. p -Dub, your name came up a few times last week. Do you expect it to come up again? Uh, I expect it to come up at least uh, three times. I might trust my allies to know it won't be more than that. Cubone, who's really on the bottom right now? It's me, Sock and Throw. The rest voted against Krabby last time. Throw, since Sock is immune, is it pretty much down to you and Cubone? I think my name is coming up at least a couple times, but I don't know about Cubone's. Slowking, do you think you're making the right move tonight? I honestly don't know. I do know, however, the person going home tonight will be missed. Alright, with that said, it is time to vote. Throw, you're up. Torko, your ego is more massive than your strength. I hope you go home tonight. I'll go tally the votes. If anyone has the Hidden Immunity Idol and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Okay, once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out must leave the Tribal Council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote. Throw. Torkoal. 
Torkoal. Two votes, Torkoal. One vote throw. Torkoal. Three votes, Torkoal. One vote throw. Torkoal. That's four votes, Torkoal. One vote throw. Torkoal. Five votes, Torkoal. One vote throw. Eleventh person voted out and the second member of our jury. Torkoal. That's six. That's enough. Torkoal, tribe has spoken. Time for you to go. It looks like you guys took the opportunity to take out a big threat and ran with it. This is going to be an interesting 12 days. Head back to camp, get a good night's sleep. Words can't even put anything into perspective of how awful I feel right now. You know, I thought the, the Cro-Magnons are going to stay six strong and take out Thro, but they all ganged up on me. You know, I, I'm i about to have a child, and I needed this million dollars more than anyone out there did. And it, it sucks. I really do feel like I have a sense of depression coming on, and it really makes me feel awful. You know, coming here was fun, and it was fun while it lasted, but, you know, going going out like this just is devastating i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm you know two days after i won that uh phone call oh here i am coming home i it just it's just hard a hard pill to swallow